Wow, much better than Uber. That's the first impression shared by all users who have directly experienced Tesla's robo-taxi service up to this point. On June 22, 2025, Tesla's long-awaited robo-taxi service officially launched in Austin, Texas, marking a significant milestone in autonomous driving technology. Based on initial data from the first 24 hours, the service completed around 550 trips, covering 3,280 miles, with a fleet of 10 to 20 Model Y SUVs, equipped with Tesla's unsupervised full self-driving software. At roughly $0.0014 per mile, or $4.20 for an average trip distance, this pricing is significantly cheaper than Uber's average fare in Austin, which ranges from $1.50 to $2 per mile depending on demand. So, is the 0.0014 fare for a Tesla robo-taxi ride really worth it? What do real users and Elon Musk himself have to say about the experience? Welcome to Tesla Car World. How real is the $4.20 Tesla robo-taxi fare? This isn't speculation. It was confirmed directly by Elon Musk in a post on X. The robo-taxi launch begins in Austin this afternoon with customers paying a $4.20 flat fee. Backed by official company channels including a dedicated robo-taxi app and a live website, Tesla made it clear that this price is not a rumor, but a live figure users are seeing and paying in real time. Multiple videos from early riders validate this. Screens show the exact fare and receipts confirm the charge. Unlike its traditional product launches, Tesla is taking a more cautious and measured approach with the robo-taxi rollout. Instead of making the service widely available right away, the company is starting with a limited test phase in selected parts of Austin, allowing only pre-approved passengers to use the service. This strategy allows Tesla to monitor performance closely, ensure safety, and collect valuable data before a broader expansion. It's a rare conservative move for Tesla, suggesting how seriously the company is taking the real-world implementation of its autonomous platform. At the same time, Tesla is ramping up lobbying efforts in Washington, D.C., pushing for a clear federal framework that would govern autonomous vehicle deployment across the country. Right now, the U.S. lacks a unified set of rules for autonomy, forcing companies like Tesla to navigate a confusing patchwork of state and local laws. During a visit by the U.S. Secretary of Transportation in May, Elon Musk highlighted this issue directly, explaining that nationwide operation is nearly impossible under the current fragmented regulatory landscape. Texas, where the initial pilot is taking place, has relatively relaxed rules that allow Tesla to move forward with robo-taxi testing. However, federal limits still pose challenges. For instance, current U.S. regulations allow only 2,500 vehicles without traditional controls, like a steering wheel or pedals, to be deployed for testing each year. While that cap doesn't immediately hinder the Model Y-based robo-taxi rollout, it does place constraints on Tesla's long-term ambitions for mass deployment of driverless services. To understand its significance, we need to look at where and how this service is currently being rolled out. Tesla's robo-taxi service is live in South Austin, operating a limited fleet of 10 to 20 Model Y vehicles, running from 6 a.m. to midnight. These cars operate within a geofenced area, avoiding complex intersections and suspending service in bad weather. It's not a large-scale, commercial operation yet. It's early access, a controlled pilot program. But even within that limited scope, Tesla has made a bold statement. From an economic standpoint, the $4.20 fare undercuts every major competitor in the autonomous and ride-hailing space by a significant margin. Waymo, for instance, charges an average of $20.43 per ride, more than 385% higher than Tesla's offer. Uber rides typically cost around $15.58, and Lyft comes in close at $14.44. Tesla's pricing is not just low, it's disruptive, and it's no accident. Tesla's cost structure allows for this level of aggressive pricing. While other companies rely heavily on expensive LiDAR systems, 
costing anywhere from $10,000 to $100,000 per vehicle. Tesla's full self-driving software uses vision-based technology powered by cameras. This strategic bet on software and neural networks allows Tesla to produce vehicles like the Model Y at a fraction of the cost. According to internal estimates, building a robo-taxi costs Tesla roughly one-seventh of what it costs Waymo to put a single vehicle on the road. Still, it's important to recognize that $4.20 is not a permanent price. Tesla has stated clearly that this fare is part of the early access rollout. The company wrote, This will not always be the case, however. When a wider customer base is allowed to hail robotaxis, ride fares will vary on things like travel distance, length of trip, and, potentially, time of day. In other words, this is an introductory rate designed to create buzz, test the service at scale, and gather real-world data. The number itself, $4.20, is not random. Elon Musk has repeatedly used 420 as a meme-laced reference point in his public communications, going back to his infamous 2018 tweet about taking Tesla private. This fair serves two functions. It gets attention, and it sets a tone. The number is as much a marketing tool as it is a temporary pricing model. It captures headlines, provokes curiosity, and injects the brand with Musk's signature irreverence. Yet behind the meme, there is a serious cost reduction strategy at play. Musk has stated that once scaled, the operational cost of Tesla's upcoming purpose-built cybercab could fall to just 20 cents per mile, with end-user prices ranging between 30 cents and 40 cents per mile. These figures align closely with ARK Invest's own projections, which estimate costs as low as 35 cents per mile by 2030. If realized, those economics would fundamentally reshape urban transportation, not only underpricing Uber and Lyft, but challenging the very logic of personal car ownership. Tesla's ambition goes far beyond Austin. Musk has made it clear that the company intends to ramp up quickly. His target, hundreds of thousands, if not a million vehicles in operation by next year. While that may sound overly optimistic, and most experts believe that level of deployment won't be feasible until 2028, it illustrates the aggressive growth trajectory Tesla is planning. In contrast, Waymo, Tesla's most visible competitor in the autonomous space, currently operates over 1,500 vehicles across San Francisco, Los Angeles, Phoenix, and Austin, with expansion planned for Atlanta, Miami, and Washington, D.C. Waymo's strategy is steady and regulatory-driven. Tesla, by comparison, is moving fast, pushing boundaries, and testing how much can be achieved through scale and software alone. So, is the $4.20 fare real? Yes. Is it permanent? Number. But it was never meant to be. It's a signal, a calculated move to spark attention, test systems, and prove that Tesla can do what many thought was years away. Make fully autonomous rides not only technically possible, but economically viable. The real question isn't whether the $4.20 price tag is sustainable. The question is whether Tesla can bring down costs, expand infrastructure, and scale fast enough to turn this early access stunt into a global transportation platform. And judging by the reaction from users, the demand is already there. Now it's up to Tesla to deliver. So what's inside the Tesla RoboTaxi? And what did early users say about Tesla RoboTaxi ride experiences? The affordable per-ride pricing of Tesla's RoboTaxi, combined with the novelty of driverless travel, has driven a 92% satisfaction rate among early passengers, with an average ride time of 15 minutes. Tesla's infrastructure enables real-time monitoring and supports a 99.8% autonomy rate, requiring human intervention in only 0.2% of cases, primarily for unexpected obstacles. Despite a safety screen installed on the front passenger seat for ride monitoring, this launch, announced by CEO Elon Musk, 
is a limited beta test restricted to a geofenced area, avoiding complex intersections and adverse weather conditions, and does not permit passengers under the age of 18. While some users experience difficulties locating their robo-taxi, particularly in crowded areas with one comparing the pickup process to hunting Pokemon, others tested support features like the in-car help button, which connects riders to Tesla support staff. The average response time was two minutes. The system functioned reliably, though not without occasional friction. Crucially, it operated without the need for constant human intervention. During test rides, the vehicle successfully navigated common urban challenges, construction zones, pedestrians, speed bumps, and turns without incident. Its pace was deliberately cautious, staying under 40 miles per hour, prioritizing stability over speed. The Tesla RoboTaxi, based on the Model Y SUV, features a sleek modern interior designed for both functionality and aesthetics. And the cabin is minimalist, dominated by a large central touchscreen that serves as the hub for navigation, vehicle status, and passenger interactions. Options include contacting support, opening the trunk, and accessing a media player or climate control. The steering wheel, though present, remains stationary during autonomous operation, emphasizing the vehicle's driverless capability. The design includes ample legroom and a clean layout, with tinted windows and a panoramic glass roof, enhancing the passenger experience. The touchscreen displays real-time maps and routes, with messages like, Please wait safely. Autopilot will remain disabled until you press the brake pedal, and steering wheel will be stiff ensuring safety protocols are clear. Voice interactions such as, how are you guys? Thanks for riding RoboTaxi and thank you very much, sir. Have a good one. Add a personal touch, though they are currently limited to scripted responses. Describe is the experience as incredible. The process begins with booking through a Tesla RoboTaxi app, followed by the vehicle arriving autonomously to pick up the passenger. The ride is smooth with the robo-taxi navigating Austin streets with precision, handling turns, stops, and merges flawlessly. The absence of a driver is initially disorienting but quickly becomes fascinating, as seen in the video frames showing the interior and exterior during operation. Service quality is high with a 92% satisfaction rate reported in initial surveys. The $4.20 flat fee is a significant draw offering affordability without compromising comfort. However, limitations such as geofencing and weather restrictions, no operation in bad weather, slightly hinder versatility. Safety measures, including real-time monitoring and the presence of safety monitors, provide reassurance, though some users note the desire for fully unsupervised operation in the future. Post-ride, users express a mix of excitement and skepticism. The wow moments include the autonomous arrival, the futuristic interior with voice interactions, the smooth ride, and the affordability at $4.20 per ride. For instance, users on X highlighted the potential for elderly passengers who can no longer drive safely and compared it favorably to Uber, noting, Wow, much better than Uber. The sense of being part of a technological revolution is palpable, with one user stating, been thinking about this moment for four years, incredible. However, there are regrets and areas for improvement. The limited scale confined to a small area of Austin is a disappointment, with users hoping for broader access. Interaction limitations, such as the scripted voice responses, leave room for more dynamic engagement. Weather and age restrictions, no passengers under 18, are practical but restrictive and some express concern about unfulfilled promises, given Musk's decade-long predictions. Regulatory scrutiny adds uncertainty, with Texas lawmakers pushing for delays until September 1, 2025, creating a controversy around safety and compliance. Overall, the experience is a thrilling glimpse into the future, but it also highlights the journey ahead. Users hope for Tesla to overcome these limitations, scaling up to a fully autonomous, widespread service that could revolutionize urban transportation. Once inside, 
safety monitors hired by Tesla ask riders to show their robo-taxi app to verify identity. Beyond that, the monitors remain silent for the entire ride, even when passengers attempt to engage them in conversation. This limited interaction raises questions about how Tesla will verify identity once it removes the safety screen from the front passenger seat. One potential solution could mirror Waymo's approach, which requires riders to unlock the car via their ride-hailing app. The rear screen prompts users to buckle up and tap an animated Start Ride button, at which point the car begins its journey. Riders can also initiate the ride via the app. Since users sign into the RoboTaxi app using their existing Tesla profile, they're greeted with their personalized music apps, complete with playlists and saved songs. The front screen displays a familiar visualization similar to Tesla's consumer vehicles running full self-driving. Though Elon Musk has stated these robotaxis operate on a special version of FSD not available to regular Tesla owners, buttons labeled Replan Trip, Pull Over, and Help appear on the center screen, though one tester, Chuck Cook, noted the UI lacks some of the controls found in typical Teslas. Tapping the help button places the passenger in a queue for a remote support operator. In Cook's live stream, it took roughly two minutes for a representative to connect. We appreciate you calling in, the agent said, despite patchy cell service. We're here to support you with anything during your ride. Across multiple test drives, the robotaxi successfully navigated routine urban challenges like U-turns, speed bumps, pedestrians, and construction zones, typically maintaining speeds around. Testers frequently described the ride as smooth, impressive, and uneventful. One rider mentioned triggering a situation that required remote operator assistance, though they stopped short of calling it a disengagement. Ashok Elaswamy, Tesla's head of autopilot, posted a photo of dozens of people monitoring rides in a room lined with ten large screens showing live camera feeds from multiple vehicles. Robotaxi launch party, he captioned. So, Tesla says Robotaxi is fully autonomous, but if there's still a safety monitor in the front seat, is it truly self-driving or just a tightly controlled demo? Please share your opinion in the comment section below this video. Thanks for watching our video. If you want to explore more exciting information about Tesla EV or Tesla Bot, don't forget to hit the like button and share this video. Also, make sure to subscribe to Tesla Car World and turn on notifications so you never miss our latest videos. We appreciate your support and look forward to seeing you in the next video. Goodbye.